Have you ever wondered what would happen if a full-scale nuclear war broke out tomorrow? Where would humans actually have a chance to survive? Today, we are going to discuss exactly that. The two places on Earth experts believe could remain livable even after a nuclear catastrophe. Investigative journalist Annie Jacobson explains that most of the world would face unimaginable challenges. Nuclear bombs would destroy cities and the resulting nuclear winter could block sunlight for months or even years. Without sunlight, crops would fail, temperatures would drop and famine could spread worldwide. Millions or even billions of people could die from starvation and chaos. Let's pause for just a moment. If you have made it this far, it means you've caught a kind of curious mind that keeps this community alive. Subscribing helps us grow, but even a like, share or comment keeps the conversation going. Now back to the story, but Jacobson points out exceptions. She highlights New Zealand and some remote parts of Australia as some most likely places where humans could survive. These regions are in the southern hemisphere, keeping them mostly out of the immediate fallout zones. And they will still have enough agricultural potential to grow food even when much of the world cannot. However, survival in these areas would not be easy. Jacobson suggests that only small primitive style communities could make it. These would be hunter gatherer type societies living off the land, growing what they can and finding ways to protect themselves. Modern cities would not survive in the same way as urban population would struggle to find food and safe shelter. Interestingly, the article also mentions that some wealthy individuals are already building primitive bunkers in New Zealand, designed to protect themselves rather than entire communities. This raises important questions about whether survival will be privileged for the rich or if humanity as a whole who can plan for such disaster. Jacobson insights are supported by science. A 2022 study in Nature Food by Professor Owen Toon modeled the effect of global nuclear war and concluded that billions could die from famine and cold. But areas like New Zealand and remote Australia could remain viable with enough food and livable conditions for at least some humans. So what can we learn from all this? First. The danger of nuclear war is not just from explosions, it's about the long-term effects on the planet and humanity. Second, geography matters. Simply being far from conflict zones could make a huge difference in survival. And third, this shows how unprepared we are globally. Some billionaires may secure safety for themselves, but most people would depend entirely on the land and the community resilience. The lesson is clear. Understanding where and how humans could survive extreme disaster helps us think about the future. Whether it's building global resilience, learning survival skills, or just being aware of the fact, awareness is the first step. In the end, if the world ever faces a nuclear threat, New Zealand and certain remote parts of Australia might be humanity's last hope. But survival will be tough and it will not be easy for everyone. Appreciate you sticking around till the end. If this video added value, drop a like, subscribe and hit the bell so you are always in the loop. This community is all about curiosity and growth and we are just getting started. Catch you in the next one.